and welcome back to my channel. My name is Shani, as you know. Hi! <laughs> Shea butter mix, which I love. So, I'm just going to show you how I prepare it, by all means. Um, any oils that you prefer to use, please do. Um, so, I'm just going to show you what you need. You're going to need a bowl. You're going to need a hand mixer. You're going to need some extra virgin olive oil and I've also got a dry scalp and skin treatment therapeutic oil with black seed oil which is really good um, got some black Jamaican castor oil some carrot oil I've also got that pimento oil serum which I will be adding it's very good stuff I've got original black seed oil I've got neem oil I've got a fragrance oil of vanilla because the neem oil and the black seed oil is quite harsh in, in smell for some people tea tree oil for antifungal antibacterial etc peppermint oil for encouraging hair growth as we know and also lavender oil which promotes hair growth and just has generally a nice fragrance also I've got some vitamin E caplets now usually you would get the liquid because we use the vitamin E as a preservative um, so you know the cream doesn't go rancid um, however I was unable to find the liquid but I mean vitamin E is vitamin E it's going to take me a long a bit longer to take the solution out of the cap but all I need is like a teaspoon so I'm hoping about 10 of these um, capsules or caplets will um, provide me with the necessary preservative I need and also some cling film which I will show you how I use later on so first things first what we want to do is we want to just add the shea butter I've got ivory shea butter this time usually I do get the yellow um, shea butter um, but I just wanted to try the white one really you know just to see if there was any difference I mean they smell the same and <coughs> oh excuse me they smell the same and as you can see I mean it's, it's quite pliable it's soft and when I cream my hand with it it's, it's shiny so as you can see it's not much I'm only making a little tub oh yes and obviously you're gonna need a glass container than if it's a plastic as you know with plastic containers they have um, chemicals in them that can react to some of the oils which is not always great so moving on so we've got our shea butter and now we're just going to add in the external ingredients, which is quite simple. So I've got an eighth of a cup. Yeah, because I'm going to find my teaspoon. And as you know, with me and measurements, we don't mix, but we're going to try our best to give you some guidance. Okay, so I've got an eighth of a cup, and I've also got an eighth of a teaspoon. The reason this is so small is because the neem oil and the black seed oil is very, very strong, especially the neem oil. I mean, neem oil is great for promoting hair, hair growth, and stimulating the scalp, but it. Oh, oh I nearly lost it there. But I mean, it's garlic, basically. That's what it smells like. It smells like garlic and crushed, crushed garlic with a little bit of onion. Yeah. But I'm only going to put an eighth of a teaspoon in this. As you can see, the colour is quite like a brown colour and it stinks. It blames stinks. So, so I'm only going to put an eighth of the teaspoon of this neem oil because it's quite pungent, it's quite potent, so it will do the job. Yeah. So I'm going to add that in, move that over, so I don't put in any other anymore. So I'm just getting the last little bits off my spoon. Okay, we're done with that. So now we're going to, because these are quite harsh smells, I'm using a smaller quantity. So this is a fourth of a teaspoon of the original black seed oil. I believe this black seed oil is from Morocco, but I'm not 100% sure. I say that because I'm going from Morocco now, which is not right. Anyway, so I'm going to add uh, a quarter of a teaspoon of the black seed oil. Again, black seed oil has so many benefits and can be used in so many ways. You can even drink this stuff. Um, you can drink it, um, it helps boost your metabolism, helps with your digestive tract. And I'll leave some more information in the description bar about black seed oil if you're not familiar with it. Again, we just got some generic carrot oil. So I like a bit of carrot oil. Not too much though. Again, I'm just going with a quarter of a teaspoon. I'm going to move on to my cup because these ones, uh, the thicker oils, which I do like, my hair just loves, I add a little bit more in. So I'm just going to not fill this up completely because it's quite a thick oil, the castor oil. So I'm going to say about fourth of a cup, yeah? Fourth of an eighth of a cup, <laughs> if that's even a measurement. But basically I've just filled it like a quarter of the way, yeah? So I'm going to add that in there, lovely jubbly. Put that away. Okay, next is our olive oil, which I love to bits. It's got the olive oil. I'm really sorry about the lighting today. 
you know, this is England and it's cloudy. Blatantly cloudy. It's been raining, what, it rained yesterday all day and today I woke up and it's like, ugh, another cloudy day in only England. So I thought let me do a video. So, got the olive oil. Now I'm going to add in this dry scalp and skin therapeutic oil. It doesn't only have uh, black seed oil, it, I mean it's got aloe, it's got cumin, it's got a lot of different oils that you may like. I mean, I was a bit skeptical about trying these um, oils like this that are mixed with other things. However, this particular one did help when I had that itchiness and a lot of breakage at the back. Uh, when I bought this oil, I was going to mix it with others, but I found that it just worked good on its own at night time, so yeah. So I'm just going to add, again, I'm not going to add loads. It's about a teaspoon in there of that oil. I'm going to add that in there. Now it's time, actually no, now it's time to whip all this stuff together. Now with the whipping, you will have to kind of go back into your ingredients and add in more oils as you go on, depending on the sort of consistency you're looking for in your whipped shea butter. But as I'm making a small quantity, as you so we're gonna add the essential oils after we've whipped it. I don't know why, this is just the way I've always done it. So um, as you can see, I'll put the cling film on top of the bowl. Okay, and this is to kind of protect me from splatters because I've done this before and literally splattered up my whole kitchen and for days I was scrubbing my walls, shea butter up the wall, it was just not a nice sight. And I remember my uncle teaching me this from baking school, that if you don't want your mixture splattering everywhere, just cover your bowl with cling film, do a small incision, or small or big enough to fit your appliance in. So as you see, I've got a hand mixer, and for some reason, it don't wanna, okay. So as you can see that it fits in there, and I'm just gonna switch it on, so it's gonna get a bit loud in here. Oh, you see that, see I just flips everywhere. It's not the easiest thing to work with, and it looks like, I'm gonna to have to stop, because there's one step I actually forgot to do, which was to fork this down a little bit, excuse me. So I'm just gonna get my fork, and I'm gonna mash it down like mashed potato, basically, because this, stuff, this one is harder than the yellow one that I usually get. If this is because it's more in an uh, unprocessed form, it doesn't seem to have that sort of silky um, whipping when I do it with the yellow one, it's quite quick. So I'm just going to fork it a little bit, just to give it that mashed potato look. So hopefully the ingredients will combine. But as I said, if you find it hard to whip, it means that probably it just doesn't have enough oils in it. So I'm just adding some oil and that lovely new oil is just, oh, oh, I tell you, it's, it's pungent. So anyway, um, I've broken my little seal. But again, you know, it's just easy to repair, it's anything from, so you just put another sheet over it and basically, you know, go for gold. So now I'm going to go in there, and you can see, minutes to whip up and as you can see I'm creamed it's all whipped yeah so I'm just gonna remove the cling film now I'm gonna get my sis um, usually I would use the food bag for more um, bigger quantities but I still want to show you how I would get this into here without making like a mad mess. So now it's time to add in the additional ingredients again. So we're going for some pimento oil serum with Jamaican black castor oil. So I'm just gonna hand this, because this stuff comes out like Vaseline. Oh, it's melted a bit, so maybe I could have measured it. But again, I'm just gonna put about a teaspoon, about two teaspoons, I'd say, of the pimento oil serum in there. I'm gonna add about, actually, I am gonna measure this one. Right, this is my quarter teaspoon, and I'm going to fill this up with some tea tree oil. And basically I'm going to do this twice, so that's half a teaspoon of tea tree oil. And I love tea tree oil, my hair loves tea tree oil, especially as I have, I think, basically I've got underlying fungal infection in my hair because, actually that's another story, but I did try the uh, canistan in my hair for like two weeks and whew, it grew, like my hair actually grew, like the bits that were bald and see-through, like if you watch my bentonite, bentonite and clay um, application, you would see the breakage in the back of my hair. So I, I didn't realise, but I've kind of run out of this peppermint oil, I'm literally scraping the bottom of the barrel, but I've managed to get enough to give it a nice fragrance. So again, I've got a quarter teaspoon of the peppermint essential oils and I'm gonna just add that in there. Next one for fragrance and promotion of hair growth is our trusty lavender oil. Once I get it over my hands, I'm really, really greasy. <laughs> okay, so again, quarter of a teaspoon of the lovely lavender oil. I'm trying to, it's like I've run out of all my essential goodies. I use this stuff so often, I'm not surprised. I've got stuff buying bit bigger bottles. So again, I've got a quarter, quarter teaspoon of the lavender oil and I'm gonna add that in there. And last, lastly, in regards to fragrance, is a nice vanilla fragrance oil. Yeah, this is a fragrance oil. I'm not gonna add too much. It's only for fragrance, so if I can get some out. Jeez Louise, there's some in there, but it just won't come out. Come on, no, not today. I'm gonna have to take the caplet off. 
So I'm gonna take this off, the top it off, and I'm just gonna pour it straight in from the bottle. So a bit of vanilla, uh, vanilla fragrance. I'm just gonna add that in there. It's not too bad actually. You know, what I'm actually looking for is like lemongrass fragrance to give it more of a citrusy smell for the summertime and then give it that nice smell. So now that we've added in our essential oils, we're going to do the tedious task of adding the stupid vitamin E capsules. But it's essential to use vitamin E um, as a preservative for your hair cream because you don't want your hair cream going rancid, turning green. Oh, uh, turn rancid. So I'm having a juice needle and piece it, piece it, piece it, piece it. I'm going to use this. I'm going to squeeze it. 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 I'm going to squeeze